Fogar from Last Bastion, sponsored by Fight Division. I am here with Sean Moran after an insane fight. You had the whole crowd behind you. Stood here with the with the medal. How are you feeling after the win? I feel sound, I feel, felt sharp and fit in there. Yeah. It was such a wild performance. Like the crowd was insanely behind you. Anytime you landed anything, everyone absolutely erupted. Yeah. That must feel incredible to have them behind you like that. Yeah, but all, lo loads of people come down, supported me. I want to say a big thanks to them as well. Yeah. Do you know, this is the first interview I've done where there's literally like a full crowd of people behind the cameras now, like videoing you getting the interview. Yeah. So you've got so much support behind you. How does that feel like before coming into the ring? Does it add any pressure? Do you feel like you've got to sort of like live up to anything? No, it doesn't, doesn't really bother me. I just keep myself focused and ready and then when, I, when we get the job done, it felt like you absolutely loved the crowd and the attention yeah. as well. So at the end, when you won, you was like on the ropes, like sort of hyping it up, like telling everyone to like keep cheering. So do you like that when sort of side of it? When everyone comes, like it does help me a lot. Yeah. yeah. So it helps, like it's not pressure, it like fuels the fire. Yeah. Makes yeah. me do better because everyone's like there watching me. Yeah, oh, 100%. I, uh, 100%. I can see literally everyone now. I wish everyone could see you from behind the camera. There's so many fans already now getting pictures of you. Yeah. Um, talk to us a little bit about the fight itself then. Like, was there a sort of game plan before you went in? No. One it was, was a lot bigger than me, so yes, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to keep tight, just really like kick the legs, the body. Yeah. We ain't going to like go too explosive because yeah. I was a lot smaller than them, so yeah. just really kick the legs and kick the body, that was it. A few over and right over the top yeah. and a few elbows in the clinch, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> and just a few of this and just a few yeah. of that. You're making it sound like it was easy, but it was a very, very mapped out performance. It was incredible. One thing I noticed was, Considering the size difference, obviously he's got a much better reach on you. Yeah. You didn't mind getting in close. No. So you were rolling under his reach and then you were tight in and you were smashing the body shots. Yeah. So that, that must be quite, I don't know what the right word is, like maybe nerve wracking, but like to, to go against somebody who's got such a good reach on you and to still go on the inside, is that something you train with? Yeah, well we knew that he was well bigger than me. So yeah. we were working in the gym, the overhands, the, leg, the legs, the body. Cause we ain't gonna throw an egg kick or not because that was just well, was well too big for me to throw going to keep tight and work on the legs and the body really that was it yeah, yeah. it works really well and like i say you just weren't afraid of getting on the inside which is unusual when you're against an opponent with, with like such a bigger reach and yeah. um, talk to us then a, a little bit about like before the fight you've been on quite a journey yourself with fitness talk yeah. to us a little bit about that um lost about 35k Amazing. six seven stone odd in about nine months and what was like sort of the catalyst for that like what got you on that journey initially and, and how did you achieve it well my best mates is Andy. So he just said to me, come down to the gym and start training. So I did. And I like it now, start fighting. So it was literally just falling in love with the sport. You was yeah. like, right, I'm all in. Yeah. And then just got off the door, want to fight. Said yeah, straight away. Just as simple as that. So from this point onwards now then, obviously it's gone It's gone your way tonight. You've done absolutely amazing. Have you got the bug now? Like, can you see yourself yeah. just carrying on with it? Well, I've got another fight in about five, six weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah. So with the fight being so close to, with the fight being so close to this one now, are you just going to go like straight through so it's not like another fight camp, it's just straight through? I'll have like a few, few days off. Obviously let me shin get better and then stay back into camp then. Uh, when you're talking about a few days off, already now I can see guys like with 20 chicken nuggets waiting for you. I can see like the treats and the food like piling up ready for you. So a couple of days chilling and enjoying it now and then straight back in. Yeah, definitely. 100%. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, listen, I can't wait to see what you do next. Obviously, moving forward, what do you see? Like, do you see yourself going up to like the, for the title fights? Do you want to take this all the way I'm now? I have a few, few end, uh, maybe one. Hopefully, one more end class. Then I want to fight C class. Then no shinies. Straight up, straight up. Yeah. And, and what's the mindset going forward? Like, is there anyone in particular that you're watching at the minute and thinking, you know, maybe in the future there's somebody that I would be looking at? Nah, no one's really called me out yet. <laughs> <laughs> No one's got enough yet. Whoever wants it, I'll stab it with them. I'm, do you know what? I, I fully believe you as well. You literally are just like, yeah, whatever, no worries, I'm in. Yeah. No matter what. <laughs> well, listen, it was an amazing fight. I can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you for trying to us and congratulations on the win. Nice one. Thank you. Cheers. Here we go.